Hi everyone, I'm Kat Pengeli, Community and Engagement Manager for Lean Agile Global 2021. In the lead up to the live virtual conference on 24th and 25th May this year, I will be introducing you to some of the fantastic speakers in our lineup. Today, I am delighted to introduce you to Raji ba Bamidipati. Apologies, I found that really hard. <laughs> um, but Raji is a technical product manager at Port Swigger. Welcome, Raji. Delighted to have you here. Oh, thanks, Kat. It's my pleasure to be here. Thanks for inviting me. Absolutely. Um, so I prepared five questions for us to discuss today. Um, the first one, hopefully being a little bit more fun and has proven to be slightly more difficult. Uh, how would you uh, describe yourself in a single tweet? Right. Um my tweet would probably say that I'm a people person, loves chatting and laughing, but loves food more. Food comes oh, first. Excellent. I think you just described me. So I think we're going to get along really well. <laughs> we'll be best friends. Uh, yes. Amazing. Lovely. Um, so speaking more towards the conference then, in your opinion, why do you think people should come and join us virtually at Lean Agile Global this year? Well, let me just start by saying why people should join, even if when it was not virtual. My very first experience of Lean Agile was just overwhelming for me. It was I was surrounded by people whose books and papers I'd read in the past, and I tried to learn from them. And I suddenly found myself in their company, and I had that FaceTime, and I could ask them the questions I had, ask for advice, talk to other attendees, talk to other speakers, and just the the community spirit was just what hooked me into the conference and that's that's what will keep me coming back every year as long as you guys will have me as a speaker if not I'm here as an attendee for sure Amazing. I think that's one of the biggest things and when we switch to virtual world um I, just like the rest of the world everyone was apprehensive about what that would mean but last year uh, the organizers have turned it around and shown it to all of us that you know, just by being virtual, they haven't lost that community spirit. It was one of the best conferences I had attended all year. So for that reason, I would say, please do come. Amazing. Oh, I really appreciate that, Reggie. And, you know, um, I, I love what you said about the community spirit. You know, spirit is such a lovely word and it really gives a really broad idea of, of you know, what a community is. And that's really something we're hoping to, to continue to create. And I'm so happy because I almost said that's something, something we're hoping to create. And as you said, we've already done that for you. And I really appreciate that. Um, so something that we hope to continue to create. And especially now that, you know, we have the, the virtual reach of the entire world at our fingertips um, this year you know we're really aiming to bring a really diverse and worldwide environment to really create those interesting thoughts and expand everyone's communities absolutely i'm i'm looking forward to it i can't wait for it to be 24th and 25th of may Yay, good, me too. <laughs> um, so um, we, uh, as I kind of just mentioned, wanted to LAG this year to be very diverse and as inclusive as we could possibly be in a virtual conference. Um, so I'd love to know from your perspective, what does that mean to you? Uh, diversity, like you said there, Kat, just now is, you know, for me, that's ensuring we get people from different backgrounds, different occupations, different countries. And you guys have just gone ahead and topped that, right? You've got speakers from all continents other than Antarctica. Yes, we're very proud of that. We're really excited that one day we will find a scientist in Antarctica who is working in Agile with a good Wi-Fi connection. <laughs> I'm sure you'll do it. Yeah. <laughs> that, that, that to me is the biggest sign of diversity. Um, a lot of places we find that being diverse is one step and being inclusive is the next difficult, very difficult step to go through. And I can only say, you know, from my experience, LAG are doing everything they can to make it an inclusive experience, not just for speakers, but more importantly, the attendees. One way I can definitely say they're trying to do it is provide all the speakers with free training on how to run exceptional remote training and facilitation sessions, um, just so that they can get all the speakers to a state where we, we can fulfill on our promise. We all come here to share something, to discuss, to talk. And, you know, we, we all have the passion and fire within us and we want to share it with the world. And LAG are helping us 
refine our skills so that we could make it a memorable experience for the attendees as well, where the attendees can participate, where they can, um, you know, they, they feel like they're having a conversation with somebody in the same room rather than watching a webinar, let's say. Yeah. So for me, I think that's inclusivity, inclusivity and that's being done really well. Oh, thank you. Well, I appreciate that. And, and you're completely right. We really wanted to create a space where everyone was participating, not just the speakers. You know, obviously, you know, we picked the speakers for their, their caliber and their knowledge and for their expertise in the area. But, you know, no one has all the knowledge. And, you know, with all these people coming from all around the world, we not only hope that the attendees will leave with new knowledge and new experiences, but so will the speakers. So, yeah, amazing. So happy you said that <laughs> perfect so oh sorry i cut you off there <laughs> no it's just a lag in zoom carry on <laughs> good amazing um so why should people come um to your session at lean agile global oh you've caught me out there because you know what i haven't actually decided what i'm going to be talking about purely because there's so many things i want to talk about and yeah. i'm trying to find what's the best value what's the most interesting for me but what would be most interesting for everybody else so i've got a few ideas a few things floating by but i can promise that it is going to be a very interactive session like I said earlier, it is going to be somewhere where I will do my best to create an atmosphere where it will feel like we're all sat together and having a conversation rather than um, me trying to teach or preach or show something or read through slides. So, yeah, if you want an experience where you want to come and have a deep and thoughtful conversation about some of our you know, most burning questions or agile related topics, then you know where you've got to be. Come around. Amazing. And don't worry, you're not the only speaker so far that isn't at that. It doesn't have their topic, you know, hammered down. Um, the lovely um, Dana James Edwards, who you probably met last year, um, she she said to me in her video, she was like, she was like, Kat, I don't have a I don't have a topic. <laughs> Next week I might. The week after it may change. And I said, don't worry, you know, we're we're just happy to have you. And as you said, you really want to create an environment that's more like a round table conversation. And that's really what we're trying to create. So I'm sure that whatever topic or you know, whatever thought idea that you come up with to base your session around, I'm sure it will be fantastic. Well, thank you, Kat. You have no idea how much you've uh, reduced my anxiety, just there. <laughs> good, good. I'm happy to hear that. Uh, well, to wrap it up, then um, the last question for you, you know, not just uh, professionally, but also personally, um, I'd love to know what are you most looking forward to after lo uh, after lockdown after COVID has started to settle down? Um, I think for me, it's it's very easy. I don't even have to think about this. I'm most looking forward to meeting all my family who are distributed all around the world of course I'm not going to be meeting them all in one go but yeah. I'm really looking forward to being able to travel and visit all my family that's the one thing that I've missed the most I'm lucky enough I have my immediate family my husband and my children around me but it's my parents my siblings my cousins my in-laws it's just you know friends that I've missed seeing and hugging really that's yes. what I'm looking forward to yeah, and I love, you know, it's funny, I love the word hug, because it was a couple of days ago, the first time that I had expressed to someone, what I'm really missing is just wrapping my arms around someone and giving them that hug yeah. and just saying it's so good to see you. And since I've said that, actually quite a few people have said to me <laughs> that what they're looking forward to is hugging people. And I like hugging everyone, strangers, friends, not as appropriate when you're hugging strangers, but I'm not a handshaker. <laughs> I'm much more of a hugger. So I completely agree with that. And, you know, I'm in the UK as well. Um, but um, my only immediate family that I have here is my boyfriend and my cat. And don't get me wrong, love the both of them dearly. Uh, but, you know, my, my, my parents, my siblings, my grandparents, everyone is spread across the world just like yours and I'm really looking mm -hmm. forward to being able to go back home and, and visit them and you know have that experience because video calls can only go so far absolutely absolutely you and I are going to struggle a little bit post-covid right we are huggers and we've we're huggers with ourselves <laughs> yeah it's, it's more it's more you know like my close friends you know we've started now that we're allowed out and and that type of thing in the UK mm. we have started having a couple of hugs between close friends but um you know I'm the type of person where I'll walk up and I'll be like hey with big open arms and I have to kind of retract and be like 
good to see you because you never know what the other person's situation is as well you know I'm more than happy to have a hug because I just need that <laughs> but but you never know what the other person is feeling and how you know how cautious they want to be so I always have to kind of retract my arms back and just give a quick wave first <laughs> well Kat you and I can make a deal that the next time we meet we're going to hug each other providing all the restrictions allow us to yes amazing I would love to do that <laughs> Good. Well, thank you, Raji, so much for your time. I really appreciate you being here and talking about the conference and what you're looking forward to and what you're excited about. Um, I'm looking forward to your session, even if we don't have an official topic just yet. <laughs> um, but I hope that everyone listening will also be looking forward to joining you. That's great. Thank you so much for asking me. Absolutely. Talk soon. <laughs>